this session we will discuss the AFS Yield Monitor System. The two main components of the AFS Yield Monitor System is the mass flow sensor at the top of the clean grain elevator and the moisture bypass unit on the clean grain elevator. The moisture bypass unit, if you do not see a moisture change, most likely the 5 amp fuse is blown. The mass flow sensor needs to be checked periodically for any wear or potential damage from material going through the clean grain elevator. The system needs cleaned and checked after each crop to ensure proper operation. All right, first things first, before you ever start a crop season, you need to get your USB stick out of your monitor and clean the data off. Import it into your desktop software, do whatever you need to do, but before you ever go into your Pro 700 monitor, let's reformat that card and start nice and fresh. So once we've got our USB stick good and clean, we can go over here to our run screen. Going to our run screen, before we ever harvest any crop, we need to go into the crop type setting and set the crop that we're currently harvesting. In this example, we're going to start harvesting wheat. If on your combine you're getting a very long list of different crop types, you can edit those down like we've done on this machine. You can do that by hitting the back button, data management, filter and then go up to the top of the screen and hit the filter crop list. Anything you put an X in shows up in the list that we make. So just for an example, we'll add lentils. Hit enter, hit your back button, go back to your run screen, go to your crop type, and you see that lentils is now in our crop list. So as you can see, you can make this easier for operators to always select the right crop. We have two main calibrations we need to perform on our yield monitor. That is the moisture calibration and the yield calibration. I prefer that we do the moisture calibration first. So first things first, always make sure your moisture sensor is working properly. If it's working properly, we can take one 4,000 pound load and pull three to four samples out of it. Average those sam samples together and that'll give us a good average of what the moisture is in that load. Once we have that moisture sample, we hit our back button, we go to our calibrations tab, we go to the moisture, we hit our advanced tab, we highlight our wheat, our grower, our farm, our field, and then select our task number. And then as you can see, it showed a moisture average of 16.9. Say for example, that was 17 or 17.2. We could type that in and then change the cal task to yes, and that would essentially calibrate moisture. Once we've finished our moisture calibration, let's go in and do our yield calibration. You hit the back button, run screen, run two. The way we calibrate our yield monitor is we got to identify four individual loads via task in the monitor. For example, you can go in, you have your grower, your farm, your field set up. We go into the task and just give it a unique name of some sort. In this example, I use load one. We can also use cal one, cal two, A, B, C. It's just something unique that gets us away from the date timestamp so we can easily find it in our yield calibration screen. Once we have harvested the four individual loads at different flow ranges, we can now input the actual weights of each one of those loads. So to do that, we'd hit our back button, we go into our calibration screen, hit our yield tab, and go through and find that load. So for this example, we have have calibration, let's go to calibration one, and you can see that the weight that it recorded was 39.50, our actual weight was 39.48. So to make that change, we would change the cal test that was set to no to yes. And we continue with the, with the rest of the loads that we have taken. Put in our actual weight, cow test, yes. Once you have inputted four actual weights on four individual loads, you have performed a full calibration through the advanced tab. In these individual loads, it's just important that we try to gather different flow ranges. Ideally, regardless of what crop you're running, uh, whether that be wheat, soybeans, or corn, you need to try to get a high flow range, a low flow range, and somewhere in between. Because when you go from field to field, 
if you go into 200 bushel corn, the flow sensor is going to read that crop a certain way. If you get into another field that's reading, you know, it's more like 150 bushel corn average, if we don't have any reference points for the yield monitor, it may not accurately record your crop at that point. So it's very critical that when you're calibrating the yield monitor, you show the yield monitor all the different flow ranges that it might encounter throughout the season. So once we have our four individual loads calibrated for and we're happy with the percentages that it gives us, we can now apply that calibration to previously recorded data. The way we do that is we hit our back button, we go into data management, we hit the right arrow, we go for the apply tab, we select our crop type, our grower, our farm, in this case I'll just hit all, and then you just simply hit apply calibration. It'll ask you the question about calibration data for selected tasks will be updated to latest continue, you just simply hit yes. Now you've applied that calibration to your entire data set for that crop. This concludes our series on the AFS yield monitor. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to your local Precision Ag Specialist.